It was a piece of history that never actually happened. The unmistakable song of 12 cylinders in full cry. It's just a phenomenal piece of machinery. Great proportion, almost aeronautical in its purity. One of the fastest cars ever made for the time. It was probably one of the most fascinating Jaguars ever built, and we only built one. I always look at the 13 as, uh, as the lady. She's the perfect shape. All the curves are in the right places. And when I walk in, the first thing I do is just go over and say hello and talk to her. We had a maximum speed of 200 mile an hour with that car. Just purely an out and out race car. A car that is, is born to be driven hard. By the time we'd finished it, looking for Limon, Limon went and changed the regulations for the engine size and brought it down to three litre, so that meant we couldn't race it. But it, it would have walked Limon, there's no question about it. The XJ13 was put to one side while the company got on with its future, and so it lost its moment. It lost its moment, it was gone. But we will always default to that car as being one of the most beautiful Jaguars ever. The XJ13 is a great inspiration to us as a design team. And so when we were asked to, to design something to celebrate 75 years of Jaguar, I said to the team, well, let's be inspired by something that we recognize from within. Through that, we've developed the CX75. To me, the design process, getting a pencil out and a piece of paper and, and having visual thoughts and communicating through paper. So from this sketch or idea we might have, we then go into three-dimensional model building. And that's when the real fun begins. To some minds, it's still, I think, very old-fashioned, but that to me is where the real sense of form and line comes to life. And we can feel it, and we can touch it, and we can walk around it. My design work would only be as good as the people I worked with in terms of the clay modelers, the sculptors, the people who were creating the shapes. The designer creates the idea and the modeler has to interpret that. And it's something I really wholly believe in, is that relationship. Mr. Bit. I'm willing on. So, <laughs> so much. We had no plans to make a car like this. It's inspired by the XJ13. It gives it its soul, it gives it its character. And there are cues in it which are very evident. And there's some that are quite different. But for those who know, they know. They invited me over to Paris when we launched the CX75. All the lights went down and the car came in. And I was standing with in. And as it came in and then stopped, I said, superb, that's lovely, the XJ13 there. He said, yeah.